How's it going? Of course, guess where I'm at. <laughs> you guessed it. Anyway, so I just had a thought, um, just wanted to share. Uh, so I've been, I uh, was reading in John, it's one of the um, books of the New Testament, um, and about Nathaniel. And Nathaniel, he's one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus, um, who he, you know, calls him to follow him. And so in the, in the scripture, um, I just love the story. It talks, it implies that, um, Nathaniel is under a fig tree and we don't know why, um, he's sitting under a fig tree. It doesn't really go into what was going on. Um, there are, there's theology about, you know, just what that means and such, but, um, I just love this passage, um, and of course I'm a big fan of um, the series The Chosen. I just love um, how they're telling the story of the Gospels and the disciples and how they meet Jesus and when Jesus calls them. Um, and there's one episode that specifically introduces Nathaniel and his um, character and when Jesus calls him to follow him. Um, and in the, the series, they, you know, just give a plausible life of what Nathaniel's life could have been before he met Jesus. And so Nathaniel's sitting under the fig tree because he's so just brokenhearted. He's in despair. His life is just falling apart. Um, and he's just weeping and crying out to the Lord because everything he does is for for the Lord um, and so he's just crying and asking um, God you know do you hear me do you see me answer me please and he's just weeping and weeping and then later on his friend Philip who Philip is another disciple and um, he's already been called by Jesus and so he's meeting with Nathaniel and telling Nathaniel we need to come see Jesus because we believe he's the one the Messiah so Nathaniel when he goes to meet Jesus and Jesus walks up to him and he says to Nathaniel and I, every time I see this scene in the show I get emotional and even when I'm reading it and talking about it and Jesus says to Nathaniel I saw you under the fig tree I did not turn my face from you and then right then and there and this is in scripture you can read it Nathaniel just has this revelation and says to Jesus you are the Christ you are the son of God, the king of Israel. And then that's, you know, when he, from that point on, he becomes, you know, one of Jesus' um, disciples. And it's just amazing to me. I love that passage. And I don't know what's, you know, what's going on in your life, how your New Year's is going, you know, the first of the year. Um, maybe you're, you've been sitting under that fig tree um, and just, thinking, does anybody hear me? Does anybody see me? What's going on? Um, sometimes there's those moments where you can't even pick up the phone, nobody's around to, you know, to talk to you, and you're just sitting <laughs> wondering, is anybody out there? And so I'm just here to tell you that, you know what? God sees you, he hears you, he hears every cry, he sees every cry, he hears every prayer, and he has not turned his face from you. Um, so I just, want you to know that to encourage you that he loves you so much and he's the only one when you know in certain times when there's nobody else around that you can turn to to put your faith in him in God alone um, and he is faithful and he loves you so anyways I hope that's encouraging to you today um, and I will see you soon okay bye